today I came to the woods to build something like igloo. For this I'm gonna need my camera gear, some shovels and some food. Okay, so I'm gonna head somehow this direction. I hope it. Uh, I hope I can go through this deep snow. So I finally choose the spot, but first thing first, what exactly am I going to build? I'm not quite sure. There's so many words to describe this snow shelter. Some people call it igloo, some people Quincy, you can call it snow cave, winter shelter, you name it. I also want to be clear that this is not how-to movie, because I'm not specialist in this. I can say that I'm quite experienced. I've been mountaineer and uh, wilderness guide for six years now. I have experience with building snow shelters. But again, if you do this, it's on your own risk. I want to build a big igloo. Let's call it igloo from now on. I'm going to build this big igloo. And I'm going to invite my wife for dinner. I'm going to I'm gonna make it nice and cozy inside and also we're gonna spend uh, the night inside and hopefully see some northern lights so it's gonna be restaurant hotel and northern lights hunting observation place so this direction is north if you are into northern lights hunting it's important to have open area towards north and that's all. I think I have to hurry up because it's uh, 2 p.m. and I don't have much time. So I'm so I'm so happy with the condition of the snow. First, it's not cold. It's about minus one degree Celsius, and I was waiting for this day because now at the middle of February, I am so done with the cold. I think I cannot take anymore. Until yesterday it was minus 15, minus 20, and now all of a sudden. It's minus one. It feels like springtime has arrived. Uh, the snow hasn't melted yet. You see, it's like a powder, but it gets heavier. It's not this powder powder. Uh, the good thing is it hasn't created these hard layers that I have to break. And then they are not very good, uh, not very helpful when I build the igloo. So first I'm gonna 
like compress, compact the snow a bit, so I'm gonna break it. So what's the plan? I'm gonna start throwing the snow here and I'm, I'm planning to build really huge pile of snow. As big as I can manage before it gets dark. And then I'll go home because tomorrow it's expected to be plus two degrees. So <clears throat> the snow will start melting. The snowflakes will start connecting to each other. You know that the water particles, particles will connect and then this is gonna make the walls, the upper layer of the igloo very strong. And the day after, I'm gonna come here and with a small shovel, shovel, I'm gonna start digging inside the igloo and uh, take all the snow out. And hopefully it's gonna stay like this and it won't collapse. But I really need to start working now. I love doing that. It feels like I'm playing again. It feels so good to to make these natural uh, moves of your body that we don't do in our uh, daily life. It's getting hot. Hydration is the most common thing that people underestimate during the winter because they think they won't get, they won't be sweating this much. So the way I prefer my tea is uh, with my kuksa I take some snow like this. So my tea is too hot and uh, that's why I cool it down so I can drink faster. Make sure you don't pick from the yellow snow. Mm. Do you know what I love about Lapland? Many things. But my favorite is the silence. You can hear your thoughts. This is indeed very good survival skill. <laughs> In a good uh, condition and uh, with a good shovel, it shouldn't take you longer than one, one and a half hour altogether to build a shelter. Now, however, I'm doing something particularly different. My goal is to have fun. <laughs> this pile took me 10-15 minutes. Well, the hard work comes later when you have to dig out the hole.
work. I think it's big enough, but I'm getting greedy. I want it huge, I want it spacious inside. I want us to be able to stand inside. I am having so much fun. been two hours of snow shoveling now and I'm starving so here I have my quinoa beetroot meal Today the war goes surprisingly fast. I've done this before and somehow it felt more difficult before. Either I'm getting more experienced or in a better shape or the snow is just in better condition. The snow is just perfect. It looks the same. <laughs> it's just forest and snow. But uh, somehow I can watch forever. I can literally stare at one direction forever. Everything is so calming and it's very strange, but it feels like home. Now I believe the igloo is big enough and I'm gonna put the last layer, which is going to be about 20 centimeters and I'm gonna start compressing the snow like this then some more so the idea behind this is that I would like to make the last layer which is actually going to be the only thing that's gonna stay after I dig out from inside all the snow and this is gonna be basically the wall and I would like it more compacted, therefore stronger. It's already 5 p.m. and at the middle of February in the Arctic it means it's getting dark. So I was lucky to have enough daylight for just one afternoon to be able to uh, build this pile of snow. Oh, 
Okay, now I go home. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going home. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh ha 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 ha! Ha ha! I think I'm just crazy. Is this a normal way to have fun? I'm having so much fun. But now I go home. Oh! Hey. Yes, actually, now I'm finally done and now I start packing and I'm done. Oh, dinner is ready. <laughs> then I'm coming. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, well, now I am going home. So, one day later, I'm back. I still haven't started digging out the hole because we have this heat wave and it's been a little bit above zero degrees Celsius so I'm afraid uh, that the construction the construction won't be strong enough so I'm waiting that the temperature drops and the first layer will be strong enough however today is about plus two degrees Celsius and I, I can tell that it's pretty strong so it's not melting so I can maybe just uh, start digging a little bit to see how it feels but I'm very satisfied with the result so I'm gonna I'm gonna dig out the entrance from here because this direction is north and uh, we can just uh, lay in our sleeping bags and look for the northern lights from here See, we have, let me show you, so we have this layer on the top that is a bit harder and underneath is still fluffy. So ideally I'm gonna have the walls uh, of this thickness and actually you can, you can see through and of course we won't be able to see the northern lights through this but in the morning we can see the sun and also the walls will be thin oh yeah it's super it's super strong already this is exactly what was i aiming see so even in the worst case scenario if <laughs> this construction collapse the snow the walls will be very uh, light so they won't hurt us at least I have never heard this construction collapsing even when the igloo is made only with the powder snow 
as long as you wait a couple of hours so the um, snowflakes and the particles of the water connect to each other but uh, I want to play it safe so I'm gonna start digging out the entrance see how strong it is I'm, I'm super happy and here actually inside is still uh, the powder so it's very easy to dig out this is one of the most satisfactory activities for me it's just so beautiful this pure crystal white snow and, and to take to take it out and to dig I can do this forever just five minutes of work and I'm already almost getting inside okay okay now it's my favorite moment the moment when I cannot anymore dig out from outside and I have to go in at least partially This is so much fun. It is really so much, I cannot explain. It is getting cold, which is very good. The walls are becoming very, very uh, strong and icy. But inside, it's like uh, butter. That's one thing that you, when you are inside, you cannot really estimate how thick the walls are and it's very easy to uh, break through Nadia is uh, outside uh, taking already some photos Aurora started but it's still very quiet we are very excited What I'm doing right now makes me feel happy and increase my sensation of well-being in many ways. It's an activity that uh, combines this uh, some sort of uh, childlike playfulness with uh, whole body exercising and all these natural moves of uh, my body that in, in the modern life we don't do them often <clears throat> I think it's uh, very healthy for for my for my mind and for my body uh, what you're gonna appreciate if you do something like this is to have clothes to change I have because you're gonna be sweating and uh, I have changed my clothes three times 
already today and I still have one pair of very dry merino underwear for when I just before going to the sleeping bag In fact, the place is already big enough to accommodate, accommodate easily four people. But I always dreamed to make a huge igloo, very spacious that you can easily sit and probably even stand and move around and make it cozy and create this huge atmosphere. So I'm going to try to make it as big as possible. Almost ready. Look. I can stand. Almost. It is so quiet here inside that I can hear the, my heartbeat. Maybe I shouldn't be this greedy. I mean, I, I don't even need to stand inside. It's, it's, it's so big. Look at that. It's huge. The show just started and I'm not ready with the igloo. Wow. happened was uh, Aurora started very early we we weren't expecting it that early <coughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'll bring this camera to stay uh, overnight outside for time-lapse while we are sleeping and then we start uh, uh, working on the interior of the igloo. We have all these things to unpack and make it nice and cozy. I have right now my best camera assistant. <laughs> it's uh, life is so much easier when there is someone to help you with filming. Until now I was filming on my own. And now it's much easier. Camera is well dressed. It's a minus 12 outside, so it's good to keep it to keep it like this so it doesn't get the frost all over. For outside I'll, I'll use the Nikon D7 D7500 uh, DSLR. It's a very good camera for cold condition. It's been working also on minus 30. So it's also the first time to spend the night outside. Okay. So as you can see, <laughs> we have a few things here. One thing is here. <laughs> And then some more things are here. So we already brought uh, everything inside. 
Ooh, plenty of stuff. So that's our dining table. This is our interior things box. Oh my igloo. Oh man, pesa. Whoa! How wonderful! Here is a sign for our eagle. It says, uh, "Your own eagle is the uh, nest of happiness." Usually, you would say your home is a nest of happiness. Uh -huh. Your igloo is a nest of happiness. This is what we're gonna put in the entrance. I've been invited to Rovaniemi's most luxury restaurant and accommodation, which is Snow Igloo. We called it Oma Igloo Onnan Pesa. We've got some decoration on the wall and everything is very cozy. It's so spacious, so um, somehow luxury. Nordic luxury, minimalistic igloo. boutique igloo. We love it. It's like giving first aid to someone. So it's important to inflate all the mattresses in a, a different way than blowing inside because when you blow, when you exhale and blow inside your air, then you get inside moisture that freezes. Now we're gonna warm up our dinner. This is how our table looks like, but I'll do that outside because you should never use a gas stove inside the snow cave. <laughs> you look sleepy already. Light is a bit bright. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> the dinner is getting cold. So for dinner there are potatoes. Bulgarian style potatoes. Made by Martin. Some greens. Some greens which are uh, Brussels uh, fruit. Something like this. Uh, then we have um, homemade... Um, Ah. Okay, let's see it. It's getting cold. That was it, right? and this one is cabbage. Third crab. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy. Did you take photo? With a camera. No. We don't have photo. I'll take screenshot. How can you take photo? Okay. Oh, am I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, hold on. Can you stay like this? Do I look okay? Yes, can you look at me? Smile. <laughs> but the food is cold. <laughs> Eat faster. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, minus 4 degrees inside and outside it's minus 12. Mm -hmm. so now we are just eating. Hopefully we are warming up. I'm so happy I'm having two jackets. Now it started. Uh -huh. How beautiful. Do you like the composition? Mm -hmm. Marty, look at this. Look at this composition. Wow, 
look up. Okay, don't touch the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is art. This is pure heavenly art. Look, it's all over the sky. Wow. It's here. Look moving. up. Look up how it's dancing. It's moving. It's insane. We are so grateful, so grateful to have the chance to see this, this beauty. I know there are so maybe billions of people who want to see this and, and we are just here, chilling, having it for free, all alone in the forest. I cannot express enough how much I appreciate and how grateful I am for having the opportunities to see this beauty. Look at this, it's getting crazy. You're a baby all. Look at this, it's insane. It's so strong. <laughs> Woohoo! Where? The focus was here on me. It goes all over the sky. It's moving, I need to adjust the camera. Uh huh. Look at this. Marty, it's just surreal. Oh my. I'm so happy. I so think strong. it's much better than yesterday. Oh, so much better. I think this is the... For sure this is the strongest I've seen for this year. 
Is the focus on the sky or on us? Let me switch off this. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, pff, I think on the sky. No, it, uh, if you didn't change it, it's on us. <laughs> the thing that's good mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy I can cry. amazing and the, the thing is it can stay like this for hours it can disappear in 10 minutes mm -hmm. oh it's gorgeous the sky is so clear Здравейте включваме се на живо от Лапландия и се извиняваме за тези досадни светлини които вероятно ви дразнят сега очите но може да поставите слънчеви очила, за да не се да не ви дразни толкова зелено, зелено. Ако ви е интересно гледайте, ако не, извиняваме се. Was it good? I think it's just amazing. <laughs> So to increase the temperature range for the sleeping bags, we're gonna put uh, sleeping bed linens. Sleeping bag bed linens. Uh, although this, technically, these sleeping bags are enough for minus 12 degrees, but I never trust this because it's actually, at least for me, it's never true. I always feel cold if I follow the technical characteristics of the sleeping bags. So if it says minus, it actually says minus 20 for men and minus 12 for women. So I believe uh, minus five is my limit. Really? Mm -hmm. But it's uh, personal. Some people feel very warm when they sleep. It's also not good to overheat because if you sweat inside then it loses the isolation um, functions. Let's do that. Let's go mm -hmm. to sleep. Let's go. <laughs> the first. Keep it inside of your sleeping mm -hmm. bag. This one. I'll keep this. This one. I'll keep this. Not on you, but inside I'll keep of this. I'll go bag. like this in the sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. I can wear it up here. No. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> it feels very nice. <laughs> it's warm already, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. It's super cozy. Yes. Guys, you will not believe, but we are going to sleep, and this is the view that <laughs> we have mm -hmm. from our eagle door. I hope we don't make you too jealous, but <laughs> this is what we see right now. It's amazing, I can't believe, here in our sleeping bags, we can, we can just enjoy this until we've close our eyes and fall asleep. We don't want to sleep. <laughs> we don't want to sleep now, we got overexcited. <laughs> and we're so lucky, a magical night like this doesn't happen often. It's either too cold or cloudy or there's no aurora. 
yeah it's kind of in, in a moment like this this is definitely no ordinary moment it's not like seeing northern lights from the city uh, this is the synergy effect of being in a place like this camping wild in an eagle it's just so authentic and all these different elements you know so you can see good aurora strong one you can see it from the city but it has nothing to do with what I feel like now but that's it from our experience we hope you you liked it and we wish you all the best with your aurora chasing and that's all for now Morning. How did you sleep? Very well. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sleep very well, to be honest. I fell asleep after three, after three a.m. and then I was often waking up, but I was dreaming all the time. I was sleeping. Were you cold? No, not at any point. And by the way, we matched the sleeping bags. They originally they're not supposed to be matched. They're not left and right zippers, but it worked. Did you have your head warm? Mm -hmm. I put them and I held my hood on. But what did you do with your hood? I don't know. You didn't have it on. <coughs> Yes, some artist's hood was upside down. The temperature is minus 5 inside, maybe mm. minus 15 outside. Mm -hmm. We survived. It's like half meter of wall, come on! I thought it's like 10 centimeters already because I can feel the light. There it is. Window open. <laughs> I'm curious, how is the other camera doing? Poor guy. Totally frozen. <laughs>